Hello guys, it's me Karthik. Hope you guys are doing really good. So we are continuing on the JPS specifications uh, videos, right? So in our previous video, we have seen how we can get the data from the input and based on it, we are performing our specifications, right? So uh, in that, we have did the equals uh, operation and at the end of the video, we got one issue related to the dates, okay? So we are continuing on that item, like I am going to perform the between operation using the criteria builder and we are going to fetch the uh, results okay so uh, i have my application up and running so let me show you that So this is my employee object here. I have the data, right? So what I'm going to do is I am going to pass the dates and I'm going to apply a between condition between them. Let's say like I'm passing 2015 and 2022. Then in between these two dates, I should get all the data. Okay, so let's get started on that. I have my employee controller simply write one uh, one rest api here so use get mapping and uh, by between dates okay then it is going to return me the list of employees and input is coming as a request body here what is my input this specification input is my input so let me give it as input okay so keep as of now null what is there in the specification input column name and the value for us the column name is date of joining and here we are going to perform between operation right cool so between is there let's go to the employee service here uh, first let's implement the specification then we'll see let's get the employee specific specification object okay get uh, employee specification between dates okay and we have the specification input keep it as a input okay then here uh, i need to get two dates right so this is how i will try to send between these two dates in order to separate it i am going to put a comma here or else you can keep it a list and uh, from there you can get two objects that is also okay but i don't want to complicate it i want to, to do it in a very simple manner so i'm taking this here and i'm going to split by comma so that i will get the start date and the end date right so simply use string value is equal to input dot get uh, value okay this value i am going to send like this input dot uh, i am splitting based on the comma right so split comma this will be coming into the array list here then string start date start date is equal to values of zero or else i don't need this anyhow that is there in that array itself right now at values of zero, zero i will have start date at values of one i will have end date now that is in string format right but my employee is a date format in this date okay so simply what you can do is uh, you can use the string and convert into the uh, date using simple date format let's keep simple date format as new simple date format and let's pass in this way y y y d d okay in this way i am passing it now date start 
start dt is equal to simple date format dot you have a method called pass this is the overloaded method i am using pass here at values of zero i am going to get my start date similarly i will get end date as well at uh, simple date sorry simple date format dot pass and uh, values of one this will throw us the pass exception so you just throws that here okay throws pass exception now i will have now i have two objects start date and end date with these two objects i am going to return the specification how just do like this return then you press control alt then it will return you this one right this is a lambda expression right now you have this criteria builder dot between you have okay in between you could see here second one we can use it okay so this is my between here first one is get so what is my column name my column name is date of joining okay and uh, start date is my first one and the second one is end date okay that's it you can get this get from our input also so let me replace it with that get column name yeah so now you understood right criteria builder between these two cool right now this is returning the specification object right with this specification object i need to let's keep this as a private okay now public list of employees where get uh, employees between dates let's pass specification input this method is actually hooked into our controller okay so this specification will come from controller that itself will come from our input right cool now let's call this guy and pass input and uh, let's create a local variable oh, sorry this will throw us the exception and let's create a local variable called specification variable employee specification okay this is too big so let's use something like emp spec this should be sufficient isn't it yeah now this object i am going to pass it to our repo what is our repo employee repo is one okay this employee repo is extending jps specification executor this is the important in order to use our criteria specifications in spring boot okay so em spec we have it right so employee repo dot find all of em spec this should return the list of employees which i am which i am passing here right so i am going to use return statement sorry now go to the controller Where is our controller this is our controller here employee service dot get employee between dates and input okay this will return the pass exception so add it as part of the method signature right this is done now let's rerun our application and let's set our api in the in this process okay by between is my end point 
okay and devoj is a column name and date of this format right cool in the meantime my application is started let's open a db and see the data i am using h2 database this is our data right so application is up and running now i am applying this between now you could see we got all the records right so uh, how many records we have i think everything is falling in between okay two four i think one is missing uh how many records are there one is missing because 2015 is we have passed 2016 is there right so one record is missing if you pass uh let's say like 17 18 let's pass okay none of the records are there because all of them are above the dates that's okay zero one one record should come right so this is how we are doing a between the two days using the specifications in criteria api right thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik signing